This lesson will introduce the Centre for Regulatory Science at the PMDA. The PMDA's scientific activities must consist of accurate prediction, evaluation and judgement based on clear evidence while incorporating the latest scientific findings. To improve its activities, the PMDA promotes regulatory science, which forms the basis of regulatory decisions. To further advance regulatory science, the PMDA established the Centre for Regulatory Science, CRS, in April 2018. The CRS consists of the Office of Research Administration, Office of Regulatory Science Research, Office of Regulatory Science Coordination, Office of Medical Informatics and Science. These offices collaborate with the Review and Safety Departments in improving reviews and related services and safety measures. The Centre is expected to strengthen collaboration between the Approval Review and post-marketing surveillance safety measures using real-world data and electronic data. Moreover, the Centre promotes regulatory science through collaboration with external institutions such as academia. Therefore, the Centre contributes to the enhancement of the quality of reviews and safety measures and the development of innovative drugs and proactively disseminates guidelines. The Centre for Regulatory Science plays the key role of implementation of scientific activities across the sectors between pre-marketing and post-marketing assessment. The PMDA is moving toward a more quantitative approach, using real-world electronic medical records such as complaints and hospital records, patient registries and electronic clinical data appended to the NDA packages. The PMDA will actively disseminate guidelines for improving the quality of pre-marketing review, facilitating development of innovative medicines and other safety measures in the near future. The Centre is also promoting collaboration with external organisations such as academia. The PMDA has advanced collaborations with academic, medical institutions to promote partnership frameworks across a broad range of fields, as shown in this slide. So far, the PMDA has achieved comprehensive partnership agreements with nine organisations. Under these comprehensive partnership agreements, the PMDA exchanges personnel, contributing to human resources development, and the partners conduct joint research projects related to regulatory science. The PMDA established the Science Board in May 2012 as a high-level consultative body which discusses scientific aspects of pharmaceuticals, medical devices and regenerative medical products review. Its objectives are to respond to the progress of medical innovations and to properly address scientific challenges in the field of advanced science and technology. The Science Board consists of external experts in areas such as medicine, dentistry, pharmaceutical science and engineering. Evaluation methods for innovative drugs, medical devices and regenerative medical products are discussed at board meetings. The PMDA actively utilises the Science Board, thereby reinforcing collaboration and communication with scientists from universities and research institutions and healthcare professionals. This enables the PMDA to incorporate the latest scientific knowledge into its services, thus leading to the improvement of its reviews and related services, including regulatory science strategy consultations, R&D, as well as safety measures. These are some example themes of the PMDA Science Board. Subcommittee discussions range from evaluation of tumorigenicity of cellular products, including IPS cells, assessment of the risk of genome editing for cellular products, therapeutic products based on extracellular vesicles, EVs, software as a medical device utilising artificial intelligence, AI, 
and machine learning and cell and gene therapy products produced in vivo. All meeting materials and minutes in the Science Board and the subcommittee meetings will be published on the PMDA website, except for confidential information. The reports of the subcommittees are published in Japanese and English as reports, points to consider, or white papers, etc. Furthermore, these reports are compiled and published peer-reviewed scientific papers. These documents are available from the subcommittee pages on the PMDA website. This slide presents a simplified overview of horizon scanning. The discussion of horizon scanning is progressing, not only domestically, but also at an international level, with the PMDA serving as a working group in the International Coalition of Medicines Regulatory Authorities, ICMRA. The PMDA has started analysing the method being used for horizon scanning of emerging trends and technologies and is also preparing for the necessary regulations. The PMDA began storing electronic clinical study data appended to NDA submissions in October 2016 and the electronic data submission have been mandatory since April 2020. Currently, the submitted clinical study data are actively used by the review team for the review of individual applications. The clinical study data submitted to the PMDA will be accumulated. The accumulated data are expected to be utilised in the future. This slide shows the timing of utilising study data that serve as the primary basis for the NDA during the review process and the examples of analyses to be performed. Prior to the review team meeting, the reproducibility of the primary analysis of the study is checked and analyses of the important issues are performed. After the meeting, additional analyses are performed to see whether inquiries should be made of the applicant. Additional analyses are performed based on the opinions of the external experts. Electronic data are utilised in the review process to keep track of the direction of the review and to ensure smooth communication with the applicants, experts and the PMDA. Examples of clinical pharmacology analyses of electronic data are shown for each type of analysis. The standard pharmacokinetic analysis looks into the reproducibility of the results, the applicant's claim, for example, a claim regarding the results of the pharmacokinetic comparison between Japanese and non-Japanese subjects, and the change of individual blood concentration to understand the details of the study results. The population analysis is performed for model diagnostics and qualifications. For example, as shown in the figure on the right, a visual predictive check of the Japanese population and the overall population is performed to see whether the population pharmacokinetics PPK, analysis performed by the applicant was sufficiently predictive in the Japanese population. The physiologically based pharmacokinetics PBPK model analysis is performed to analyse the sensitivity of the appropriateness of the parameters and to assume the prediction results based on a conservative scenario. The Japanese government has established a clinical innovation network for utilising patient registry data on the benefit-risk assessment of a drug. This network could be especially useful for providing data on historical controls that are usually difficult to collect for clinical trials related to drug development for treatment of rare orphan diseases such as muscular dystrophy and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. The PMDA Working Group is collaborating with this network and working to establish a reliable patient registry that can be used for regulatory submissions. Please note that Real World Evidence, RWE, is not directly inferred 
from Real World Data, RWD. To verify the evidence that can be used for regulatory decision-making, Real World Data, RWD, should be properly managed in terms of both data reliability and standardization. Data should also be analysed using appropriate pharmacoepidemiological methods. The Medical Information Database Network, MidNet, is a distributed and closed network system utilised for the real-time assessment of drug safety. Currently, over 6.05 million patients' data, including administrative information and laboratory test results, are available for analysis. The PMDA has led this project and implemented rigorous and consistent quality management to ensure that MidNet data are of high quality and meet Japanese regulatory standards. Good Post-Marketing Study Practice, GPSP As shown in this slide, the PMDA Regulatory Science Centre will work to integrate all regulatory science activities for efficient drug development and better pharmaceutical regulation. Collaborative efforts on multiple topics will have a positive effect and be a strong driver to provide high-quality service utilising the latest scientific developments for advancing public health.